Hello world! Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today, we are going to be looking at how to create this loading animation with a bunch of photos that ends up turning into a slider that sort of scrolls automatically, as you can see on the screen right now. I'm just going to replay it just so you can get a better look. So again, we have these images that are being sort of flipped through, and then we get a nice sort of automatic slider effect with all these images sort of sliding by. So let's get right into building this. So the first thing that we're actually going to do is create a wrapper for our um, slider to sit in, right? So this wrapper is going to be really basic. It's just going to be a div block. You can call it slider wrapper and it's going to have a width of 100% and a height of 100 bh. It's essentially just going to take up um, the width of our screen. Okay, so that's perfect. That's pretty much all we really need to add to this slide. Uh, let's get into creating our um, slider. So this is also going to be really simple. Just grab a slider element. And with this slider element, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that the slider element has a width of 100% and a height of 80 bh. Now, to get it to be sort of centered on the screen, what we can do is we can go back up to our slider wrapper and just make sure that we have some flex property set on it and just align it to the center. And we can really put justify center, but we don't really need that considering that our slider is taking up the whole width of the screen anyways, but we can just leave it there, okay? So we have our slider, right? And it has a width of 100% and it has a height of 100 bh. each. Now I'm going to get rid of that background color because I don't really like it to be honest. So I'll just make it transparent. Yep, like that. And I'll go into the slider. Now, um, how we create... Oh, let me go back and reload. So how we create this effect where um, the slider is not taking up the full part of the screen but only maybe like 70 to 80% of it is by changing the width of the mask. Okay? So by default, the mask of our slider is always going to be set to have a width of 100%. But if I change the width of that mask to maybe something like 80% instead, then as you can see, it gets sort of smaller and takes up less percentage of the screen, right? Now, we also want this mask to be sort of centered. So to do that, we can just grab our slider and set the same sort of flex properties on that. Okay, great. Now... What we're also going to do is grab this slide and we are going to give it some margin on the left and on the right. So that's because, as you can see, if I hover over slide 2 with slide 1 selected, um, slide 1 and slide 2 are sort of pushed up right against each other. And we want to give them some spacing. So I'm just grab the first slide, give it maybe 2 em of margin to the left and 2 em of margin to the right. Now, what we're going to put in our slide, actually, is we're going to put in this image. And that's pretty much it for most of our slides, right? But for our first slide, we're going to have a bunch of images to create this sort of flipping through effect with the um, images, right? So for that, we need multiple ones. So um, this applies only for the first slide. I'm just going to go ahead and grab in, put in a div block in here. And I can call this something like slide image wrapper and this is just going to take up the width of the whole slide like that up like that and uh after this we can just drag in another div block and if i put this in here i'm going to call this slide image okay so this is again going to have those same properties so 100 percent width 100 percent height but in here we are going to put in our actual images so let me just grab I think it's this one, right? And then I'm going to hit cover. So this is the model three. Now, if I hit cover like that, okay, I'm just going to keep going and I'm going to keep creating different images. Now, we need five of them, right? Because we have five different images. So for the first one, we can have this background color or this, this particular background, right? But for the second image, we want to have a different background image. So I'm going to give it a combo class of two. And I'm going to go ahead and choose a different image. I'm not really sure which one I chose. I'm just going to pick something random. I don't think it really matters. Okay. This third one is going to have a combo class of three. Just going to move that 
I think I picked this one for this one. And this one can have, oh, make sure to give it a combo class of four. And then we have to change the background colors, the blue one, and then finally, number five. Since for number five, we're just going to choose our solar panels. Okay, great. Now we want all these images to sit on top of each other, right? So as you can see right now, they're sort of cascading down, but we don't want that. We want them to sit directly on top of each other so that we can create that effect. So for that, we just have to set position absolute on the original side image like that. That should work. Now to make sure that we don't have any weird spacing issues, um, we're going to go back to our side image wrapper and make sure this is set to relative like that. Okay, great. So now all of our images are on top of each other. They are placed on top of each other. Okay, great. So now that we have these images on our slides, it's uh, before we get into creating the animation or figuring out exactly how we want this to look, what we want to do is make sure that we have images for all of our other slides. So for all these ones, right? So that's really simple. We're just gonna copy and paste these images. So uh, just take this one and paste it in here. And I'll make a couple more slides. I think we need three more. Yeah, we have five pictures. And so I'll get rid of this one. Just make sure you're not putting in the same images for multiple slides. So that's two, this is three. Okay, let's put in number four on the fourth slide. And let's put in number five for the fifth slide. Okay, perfect. Now, if we get a chance to flip through, Yep, there's some hidden arrow buttons. They're hit. Okay, well, that one's repeating. Uh, okay, so let's fix that. This last slide, we can have be. Wait, so this is four and. Wait, we have two, three, four, and five. Maybe I forgot to replace it here. So five is okay. Okay, yeah, okay. It's my fault. Let's pick the white car. No, that's two. Okay, this is what happens when I get confused. Let's let's fix this. So we have a, so I think two is gonna be our red sedan. Yep. Now, hopefully, hopefully, let's cross our fingers. That's different, that's different, that's different, and that's different. Perfect. Now we're gonna change the animation on this slide, so don't worry, this is not our final sort of picture, just it's just kind of there. So let's fix that in a second. Now let's get rid of these arrows. I'm just gonna set these arrows to be displayed none. We don't want users to actually be able to use them, and then we're just gonna get rid of the navigation as well. Now our next step is to create the animation. So let's go ahead and go into our page load right here. And on page load, we can define a page load animation. Okay, and here's what we'll add to it. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to grab this image wrapper that we have here with all of our images, and we're going to scale it down. Let's maybe make it half of its size right now, like that. And then what we're going to do is, uh, yeah, so that's good, and we're going to set that as our initial state because that's what we want it to be when we're starting out. We'll fix the rest of it as we keep going, okay? Um, now, our next step is going to be to actually start animating the images inside here, right? So I'm going to grab our last image here, and I'm going to hit move. And all we want to do is we want to move it down 100%, so that's it moving down, right? Now, it's overflowing, but we'll fix that overflow in just a second. But before we do that, I'm just going to grab all of our images and make sure that we are moving them down 100%. Okay, so then we can have this image, our third one right here. And we can move this one down 100% as well. Why are those images the same? That is my question as well. Okay, there we go. And then we can move this one down, so that's 100% as well. Oh, not in the x-axis. <laughs> My bad. 100%. And then that's it. Okay? So we have our four images. If we hit play, it's going to look really bad because they're all moving down at the same time, and we don't want them to do that. But we'll fix that in a second. Let's just go ahead and set overflow hidden so that we can actually work with what we're going to work with when we hit preview. Okay, great. 
So now we have our different images showing up, but like I said before, they're all going down at once, which is what we don't want to happen. So what we're gonna do is first let me set a duration for all of these. So I just hit shift and I grabbed all of them. And the next thing that I want to do is set a delay between all of these images moving down so, they're, so that they are coming right after each other. So I'm gonna start moving this second image down, 0.7 seconds, that's gonna be my delay. And that's because this one ends in 0 0.7 seconds, right? That's the duration. So if we calculate that and if we grab this next image that we're going to move, if we do 0 0.7 plus 0 0.7, then that would give us 1.4. Oh, oh, that's not what I meant to click. Let's hit 1.4 delay. And then finally, for our last image as well, we're going to hit uh, 2.1. Okay. Okay, now if we hit preview. Okay, it looks a little bit bland, but we can fix that with our easing settings. Otherwise, I think it's working fine. Okay, well, we have a repeat of images, and I I think that's my fault. I feel like I messed up there. So which image is that one? Let's see. I think it's the model three. Let's switch that out for the model S. Now it should look good, hopefully. Let's see. Okay, perfect. So now that we have those ready, let's just set some easing settings. So I'm gonna hit shift and grab them all again. And we can play with the easing. Um, I think usually I go with either out cubic or out quad. Let's try out, out, out quad. Okay, I feel like that looks pretty good. Let's see, cubic. Yeah, cubic's going a little bit faster. Okay, I think I like cubic. Okay, that's great. So now, once we are done moving these images down, if you notice, what happens is, I reload here. Once the images have all moved down, you can see that the image sort of scales and then we get our slider starting to work. So for that, all we really have to do is make sure to grab our slide image slider and we're just gonna scale it all the way up to one. So before it was 0 0.5, now it's gonna be one, so it's original size, right? Now I want the image inside of it to scale a little bit faster. So for that, all we're gonna do is make the image scale to 1.7 or something like that. Now if we try that out, let's see. Yep, that looks good. Okay, I want to set some easing on this one as well. Let's do maybe ease in, real simple. Okay, that works. Now, that's it, I think. Yep, that's good. Now, uh, what else do we need to do for this second image for some reason that the image is not showing up, which is a bummer, but you know, uh, let's figure out why the image isn't showing up. Oh, wait, never mind. It is showing up. So why does it not show up there? Okay, so this is slide one, slide two, slide three. Okay. If I hit play. Okay, we want to be able to see both the images at the same time, which this is not letting me see them. So maybe let's make the mask even smaller, let's make it 60%. And, and let's also make sure to set overflow display on the mask. There we go, so that we can actually see the content. Because right now, if the mask only has a width of 60%, then it ends up blocking out the rest of the content that isn't part of that 60%. So now we can see everything. Um, we'll also go back in here to our settings for our slider and we want to make sure that we hit um, We don't want anything for our slide nav and we want our uh, Slides to autoplay, right? So we can have a timer delay of 4,000. That's fine um, We can change again the easing settings in here as well. So maybe we can ease in court. I don't know We can try different things out. Okay. I think court looks good Okay, that's fine now, if we just test out our anim animation one more time, nothing happens. Spectacular, let's move back. Okay, and if I hit preview now. Okay, great. Now, one problem we are facing is that while we are playing this animation, we can still see this other image and we don't want to see this other image un until we are done um, finishing our loading animation, right? So that's really simple. We just have to grab the slide image, right? 
and I'll just lower the opacity all the way down to 0%. And then once this animation is finished, so right up here at the end, I'll just make sure to bring that opacity back to 100%. So now if we hit save, and if we pull that up, okay, great. And our image just comes in, hopefully it should start doing the autoplay thing sometime soon, maybe. Okay, great, that's not working. Let's fix that. Timer delay, let's make it 3000. It's not gonna play right now. And boom. Let's go ahead, maybe, right now, perhaps. Okay, that's great, truly. Autoplay slides. Yeah, I'm not really sure why that's not working. Let's get that. Okay, done. Now it should be moving, moving along. Ah, there we go. Okay. Yeah, 1,000 is way too low. That's why I made it 4,000, but I guess we'll keep it at 3. 3 is definitely not middle ground, but it, it'll work, hopefully. Yeah, 3 is too small. See, 4,000 was supposed to be working before, but now it's not. Not 400. Okay, 4,000. Okay, let's go. Please work. Okay, perfect. Switch. Switch, maybe? No, switch. Okay, there we go. Good. We have the same image here. We have to fix that. Let's fix that. Okay, great. We are totally neglecting the Model S here. So let's maybe not do that. Are we? They look too similar. I'm sorry. No, these are different pictures. Right? Yeah, okay. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Never mind. Take back what I said. So, um, are they different? I'm sorry. This is really throwing me off. No, no, no. They're, they're different pictures. We're good. Okay. So, um, we have here a loading animation. So now if we hit save, there you go. We have here a loading animation, um, as well as a sort of slider that it turns into. This would be, I think, really nice on a hero element as a hero element for any kind of page so yeah that's pretty much it for this video if you guys liked it please um yeah well leave a like subscribe and comment down below with any other ideas or requests that you might have um feel free to email me my pro uh, any problems any issues that you're having uh, i've been trying to uh respond with youtube comments but there's been some sort of a glitch and i can't really uh, it's not allowing me to comment for some reason but if you have any issues at all just email me um, my email's in my description, I think. Yeah. So, yep, that's it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.